Well, Mr. Gulley, um, my job as the Dean of the Cathedral is to welcome you to your cathedral. And, and can I say that we are not in a virtual space? This is not a pretend background, although I do have such a thing on my computer. And just to prove it, my colleagues are all going to say hello at the same time. Louder and more louder. And you'll meet most of them in the next 10 minutes. And a very warm welcome to all of you who are watching at home or, or wherever you may be as we share on this special day a special welcome to our new bishop on this extraordinary moment in our journey together. But, but Bishop Goody, it's, it's marvellous to welcome you to this, to this uh, virtual space. If we've learned anything over the last nine, nine months, it's that virtual can be real. And our experience of building a, a house of prayer without walls from this cathedral that's extended way beyond Chelmsford or Chelmsford Diocese, but to so many different places, has come as an enormous blessing to us, and I hope a blessing for the future, so that we can serve better across the communities of this place. So a huge welcome to you. I've, I've no idea if you've ever been in this building. Most people say to me, oh, I've never been to Chelmsford, um, but I'd never been to Chelmsford before I came here. And so this is a, a journey of adventure for all of us. So a very warm welcome, and we very much look forward to a future working together. Thank you very much, uh, Nicholas. I really appreciate your warm words of welcome. Uh, and if I can just say what a pleasure it is uh, to be here, uh, both with you as Dean, with your colleagues who are in the cathedral, with those I can see on my screen, and indeed others who may be joining us on Facebook Live. What an extraordinary opportunity technology gives us in these strange times. Um, it, it's it's really good to be with you in this way at this time of the day. Uh, I've had a really stimulating day. I've met, I've lost count of how many people. I've heard the most wonderful stories. I've been enthused and inspired and moved. Uh, and now we come together uh, to do what is our essential calling, um, which is to worship God together. And I'm delighted to be able to do that. Um, I haven't been yet into Chelmsford Cathedral, but I'm looking forward to it. I know that in Leicester, um, the cathedral has been a very important place for me as the Mother Church of the Diocese, and I'm sure that will become true of Chelmsford as well. Uh, I am, of course, aware that there is the small matter still uh, of the requirement for the canons to elect me before I can legally become Bishop of Chelmsford. So it's very kind of you to say this is your cathedral, but I kind of feel um, I can't presume just yet. Um, I also want to just say that I'm sorry my husband isn't with me. Uh, if we'd been down there in person, I'm sure he would have been uh, with me for the day and perhaps the children as well. Um, he would have joined us for this worship, but he is, as we speak, ferrying a couple of the children around. Um, so I'm sorry he's not here, but you will, I hope, meet him and the children in due course. Um, and, and, and then I just want to say how pleased I am to see that we're going to be using in the service the um, O Sapientia Antiphon on, on this, uh, the, the, the kind of first of the uh, great O's as they're known as we approach the end of Advent. Some of you may have heard me on Thought for the Day this morning, uh, and I reflected on this Antiphon uh, and the need for wisdom uh, in our nation on so many levels at the minute, um, but I'm conscious for myself uh, as well that um, I'm going to need a huge amount of, of wisdom as I come uh, to be alongside you, uh, and I will appreciate your prayers, and please know that I will be praying for all of you um, in the coming weeks and months as I prepare to come and join you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and this series of texts includes the Oantiphon for today. It includes the Gospel for St. Seds Day, our missionary bishop, which, whom you succeed, and other texts that have spoken to us particularly through lockdown and through the challenges of this year as a springboard for the future. My colleagues, one by one, will come towards the screen and lead different parts of this celebration together. Bishop, I'm Alison Kennedy. I'm the Canon for Worship and Music at Chelmsford Cathedral, and also I have a dual role at St. Melitus as a tutor in liturgy. Blessed are those who trust in the Lord, whose trust is the Lord. They shall be like a tree planted by water, sending out its roots by the stream. It shall not fear when heat comes, and its leaves shall stay green. In the year of drought, it is not anxious, and it does not cease to bear fruit.
Hello, Bishop Gulli. My name's Imogen Ney, and I'm the Canon for Evangelism and Discipleship here at Chelmsford Cathedral, and it's great to welcome you. As Nicholas said, the Gospel reading today is the Gospel uh, set for when we celebrate since said, the first evangelist of the region served by the Bishop of Chelmsford. Matthew chapter 9, verses 35 to 38. Then Jesus went about all the cities and villages, teaching in their synagogues and proclaiming the good news of the kingdom and curing every disease and every sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, the harvest is plentiful, but the laborers are few. Therefore ask the Lord of the harvest to send out laborers into his harvest. The word of the Lord. Oh, Coming forth from a mother most high, reaching from one end to the other, my spirit, and sweetly offering all things. Come and teach us the way. Good afternoon, uh, Bishop Gulley. Uh, my name is Ivor Moody. I'm Vice Dean and Canon Pastor here at the Cathedral. Uh, a warm welcome to you and in due course, before too long, I hope, I look forward to meeting you. Let us pray. We pray that God's mercy, his love without limit, may be made real in the life of the world. God of mercy and grace, yeah. hear our prayer. We pray that God's power, the rescue he offers for all, may be visible in the life of the church. God of mercy and grace, yeah. hear our prayer. We pray that God's good news in Jesus Christ may fling wide doors and break barriers down and be known, preached and lived in this place. God of mercy and grace, hear yeah. our prayer. We pray that the nurture Christ offers to all may help us build in this city, diocese and region, communities where all may flourish. God of mercy and grace. Yeah. We pray for Bishop Gulley and her family as she prepares for her ministry among us, that she may be equipped by God for this work across the communities of East London and Essex. God of mercy and grace, yeah. hear our prayer. For all who lead the church in times of challenge and change, that they may lead, teach, nourish and refresh your people, that we may be a sacrament of God's kingdom for the world. God of mercy and grace, yeah. hear our prayer. And this collect is one we use regularly when we celebrate installations and licensings, the beginning of a new ministry. 
Lord God, whose compassion embraces all peoples, whose law is wisdom, freedom, and joy for the poor. Fulfill in our midst your promise of favor, that we may receive the gospel of salvation with faith and anointed by the Spirit, freely proclaim it. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. I make no apology for this final text coming from the Apocrypha. Church of England is clear that it can be read in public worship as long as we don't use it to establish doctrine. It was one of those passages that during lockdown just leapt out of the scriptures and confronted me. And uh, Bishop Peter and I, when we were praying together the other day, shared this text. Uh, and I, it feels a, a beautiful text for today and specifically, Bishop Goody, for you. And we pray it in that light. And now bless the God of all, who everywhere works great wonders, who fosters our growth from birth and deals with us according to his mercy. May he give us gladness of heart and may there be peace in our days in Israel as in the days of old. May he entrust to us his mercy and may he deliver us in our days. Amen. Thank you to everyone gathered on screen and all those watching at home, wherever you are in the world, as we welcome you, Bishop Gurley, in, into the fellowship of this diocese. You will find, I hope, in this beautiful building uh, of modest size, but immense space, shall we say, a place which can genuinely be a platform for your ministry, a place of prayer that sustains you in your work and somewhere that you're happy to be. Uh, one of the beautiful features of this building is everything moves apart from two pieces of furniture, the altar and the bishop's chair, which makes a statement about our priorities. And yet this is public space for everyone, a place of encounter, a convening space, a place of blessing across all sorts of boundaries of faith and practice, and one into which you are deeply and warmly invited as in the words of the cathedral measure, you are the chief dignitary of the cathedral. Um, and I hope we can talk a, a rather more informal language as we grow to work together. But the cathedral ultimately is your space for the region, for East London and Essex, for all the communities from Plackton on Sea to Canning Town, from, from uh, Saffron Walden to South End and everything in between. Um, and our warmest welcome uh, is not just before us in the future, but today. Thank you, Nicholas. Um, it's uh, daunting and uh, humbling um, and, uh, and really quite exciting. Um, so thank you for your welcome. I'm looking forward to working with you and with uh, all uh, your colleagues. Um, and yes, getting to know the diocese uh, and the people across it, uh, there is much richness to explore and I've had a sense of that today. Um, so God bless you all. Uh, have a blessed Christmas, a peaceful start to 2021. And I look forward to seeing you hopefully before too long. God bless you all. God bless you.